Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video we will be talking about some new cartel market items that will be coming with patch 5.6. Now keep in mind patch 5.6 is all the way on November 28th and so we don't quite have a finalized look really at any of these items. We don't know whether these items are coming in a specific pack or direct sale or even when they're coming. But the bottom line is these are cartel market items that you can expect sometime in the future. And to be honest a lot of them are actually quite exciting so let's get into it. The first one we have here is the Revered Master's Armor Set. This is, guys, the traditional Jedi robes that a lot of people have been expecting. I hope it meets your expectations, but I do 100% believe that was their intention. Uh, it does look very similar to what we see in the prequels and stuff. Um, obviously, it doesn't have a hood, which I think is going to be uh, good for a lot of people because not a lot of people like the hoods. However, if you are looking for the hooded version of this, check out the Exiled Master's Armor Set. Uh, the upper body armor for that armor set is, um, I believe, kind a very traditional Jedi Roby, but it also has a hood that you can have. But this is, I think, what a lot of people have been asking for. It's probably going to be gold. It does seem to be coming out of a cartel pack. And um, the only thing missing from this image is the boots. The boots kind of matter, especially when you look at the prequels and you see their boots are always nice brown and shiny and stuff. So I, I'm hoping they have those boots as well. But the upper body armor does look good. And it does have that kind of look to it. Um, that is very kind of Jedi mastery, something you'd see someone on the Jedi Council wearing. So that is exciting. Uh, the second armor set we have here is the Unyielding Stalkers armor set. Now this one looks very similar to like those Death Troopers. Maybe if you dyed it black and black, something like those Death Troopers from Rogue One. Uh, the helmet is kind of cool. The upper body armor is nothing too special in my opinion. Uh, this one looks very silver armor set. No nothing too special like gold or anything. Another one we have here is the Restored Kalamai, Kalimai, Smuggler's Armor Set. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this is just a straight up reskin. What, what's, what is it to talk about? That helmet's been reskinned to death. It's been a gold. It's been a bronze. Now it's probably going to be a silver. Uh, the upper body armor looks super reskinny. And even if it's not reskinny, it doesn't look particularly good. Um, so that, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, now we have another armor set here, which we don't know the name of. This one also looks very similar to the kind of like the Ruthless Scion, but it has those two big shoulder pads. Uh, the helmet also looks a little bit unique and cool, uh, but I don't ever see my, any of my characters ever wearing it. But I do see some people um, liking that look. All in all, it's a decent looking armor set. I'm not going to say it looks terrible. Um, I kind of like the elegance and finesse to it. Uh, so not a bad armor set either. Another armor set we have here, once again, we don't have the name for this one. Um, I can't pick out if this is a reskin or not, but I've got to say, when I just look at it, it looks cool. Um, I'm not sure if we have a reskin version of it in-game. It looks like that could be a possibility, but either way, guys, it's not bad. The belt is re very reskin, yeah. I, I see us. I've seen that belt before. Uh, but the upper body armor, I'm not sure. There's no helmet with this one, which is always a bad thing because that makes a supplementary body armor very useless. So I kind of like to see helmets, even if it's a crappy helmet, at least it's something. But anyways, the upper body armor looks decent. Uh, the next one we have here, uh, the upper body armor is a reskin of the Royal Guardian. The gloves are a reskin of the Unrelenting Terror, but the helmet looks pretty cool and unique. Uh, it looks like very similar to the Frenzied Warrior, but also different enough that it's not a reskin. So I quite like the helmet. It would look even cooler if a hood could go over it. But that, all in all, is decent. Uh, it, I just hate the fact that they reskin the upper and the uh, gloves. Like, it's just a blatant reskin. But anyways, at least the helmet is different. Now, for this armor set, I have no clue what's going on. Uh, this is a straight-up reskin of some PV... P armor. I mean, I literally have this armor on my power tech because I, I uh, had the PvP armor set. Uh, so it seems as though maybe they're just reskinning the PvP armor set and putting it on the cartel market. I've got to say the helmet looked cool. I've always been a fan of that helmet. I've used it on my power tech for I don't know how long. The upper body armor also kind of looks pretty cool. It seems as though what they did add were some designs on like the shoulder pads. I'm not sure what those designs are, but you can see those kind of squiggly lines and stuff. Uh, all in all, it's a good looking armor set. I'm not going to say it looks bad. Um, the next one we have here, the mask looks cool. The gloves look pretty cool. Uh, the upper body armor, it seems to go off of a model that we already have in game, but it does seem to have some nice aspects to it that I haven't seen, like those clips on his, uh, on his chest. Uh, the shoulder pads looks very nice and finessed as well. This looks like a very elegant armor set. Uh, when I first saw this, I immediately thought about Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, but... Um, 
All in all, it's also a decent looking armor set. Once again, this is so jumbled up. I don't know whether these are coming out of a cartel pack or not. This just seems to be data mined stuff. And we don't know if we'll see it as a direct sale or in separate cartel packs or in the same cartel packs or whatever. But the bottom line is at least we get a kind of look at some of these new armor designs and they're not half bad. I've got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. There's nothing I've seen here where it's just like, that's crap, I'd never want to buy that. Uh, the next one we have here is also a reskin. This looks, I don't know, I've seen this before. I can't pinpoint the armor set, but I've definitely seen this before. Uh, nothing to talk about here. I mean, this next one here is a reskin as well. This is a reskin of, I believe, the Savage Hunter armor set. Uh, maybe these are just kind of like, I don't know, I intentional reskins that they're going to put on the cartel market as direct sales or something. Not sure. The upper bot, the uh, hat is re has been reskinned to death i do think what's new to this is that mouth covering but i'm not sure if that's actually available from the bounty brokers association vendor or not uh, the upper body armor uh, i'm not a fan of that one it's something nice for i guess smugglers and gunslingers but either way not a fan uh the next one here once again it seems as though they've just kind of like they're giving us the same helmet as the one we saw earlier, the one that I was talking about uh, as a reskin from the PvP armor. Uh, the upper body armor looks very much like a Revenite reskin. Um, but all in all, I've got to say this last armor set still looks nice. I mean, I don't I don't particularly care if the reskin is nice. Uh, and this one, they seem to be mixing a little bit of other armor sets together. But it creates a pretty nice and decent looking armor set. Uh, the helm, I mean, the, the I'm not sure if that's part of the belt. That big circle you see on his waist. Uh, that's kind of cool at least that, that's different uh all in all it's a it's a good looking kind of sith armor set but yeah those are the armor sets quite a lot of them of the images have been data mined at least we don't really have the names or the rarities or anything however that's a lot of information to digest and it's not bad we've seen some really crappy armor designs in the past uh, the next one we have here are the weapons. Firstly, we're getting Beskad. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this one is the Mandalorian uh, Vibra Sword. Uh, it's a very generic one. It's been in kind of Swotar Star Wars lore for a long time. Uh, this one, I reckon, is going to be platinum. I'm not sure if they'd make it gold or silver. It's probably going to be platinum. Looks very nice. I love the design. It's going to be a pretty acquired taste. I already know a lot of people don't like uh, items that are kind of don't look Star Warsy. This one looks very World of Warcraft. However, it is actually in Star Wars lore. It is going kind of off a similar design of what we've seen in comic books and stuff. And I've got to say it looks nice. I really dig that look. Uh, I just hope it's kind of a little bit longer, the blade. A lot of the Vibra swords they introduce are very small. They're kind of like mini versions. I kind of hope this one's actually as big as a sword, kind of like the Cathar Honor sword we have. But anyways, that is cool. Probably going to be platinum. Uh, we have the Scorpion Weapon Series. We only have images of the lightsaber and the dual saber. So that's what you guys see here. It's a pretty decent looking hilt. But not quite as nice as like the Resolute Gorilla we saw earlier. I really enjoy hilts that actually we've seen in movies and stuff. So maybe something along the lines of Mace Windu's hilt from the prequels or something. I mean, that would be a little bit cooler for me. It would have some more meaning and I'd see more people using it. But anyways, those are the designs there. Uh, we don't have images for any of the other weapons. We do have mounts though. Uh, this one is called the Ascendancy Clawcraft. Now, once obviously this one is for the Corporal Flashpoint. It's a very chiss looking mount. Uh, it seems to have a flourish where the wings flap up and down. Looks pretty cool. It's not going to sell for very much. It's not going to be like a 5, 10 million credit mount. It's easily going to hit kind of the 2, 1 million credit range. Um, the next one we have here is the Oberl Banshee. Now, this one looks pretty decent. Uh, I, I quite like it just because when you look at it, it immediately pops out to you. It looks very unique. Um, so I'm enjoying that design. It looks very cool. The next one we have here is the Republic Guardian Dis. Now this one is a straight up reskin again. So very, very reskin heavy. I mean, this one, they just took the exact same design, but made it red and silver. So I'm not too big on that. It's just a straight up reskin. I would much rather just not have it. Uh, we have enough. We already have a gold version of the mount. We already have a silver version of the mount. There's no point in just introducing a new version of the mount. Finally, we have some miscellaneous items. We have the advanced gray red color crystal. Nothing too special. I can already think of like so many different crystals we have that look very similar to this one. And then we also have the teal black color crystal. Now, this one's a little bit more unique, but also it just looks so funky. I mean, where's the good stuff? Where's the pure black color crystal? Just give it to us already. I would love a pure black color crystal. Um, then finally, we have the juvenile experimental varactyl. So this one's just a varactyl pet. All right, guys, so that is it. Those are the new data mine information. Once again, guys, very jumbled, very mixed up. We're probably going to get some more finalized information of what's actually coming together in a cartel pack a little bit later, what's going to be direct sale and other stuff like that. 
So before everyone gets too angry about the reskins and stuff, I would say we don't quite know enough information, so keep that in mind. We don't know exactly what they're doing with it, whether it's coming as a cartel market item, maybe it's returning as a PvP item, maybe it's um, going to be a direct sale of like an older item, a newer version of an older arms that we don't exactly know. So I'd rather wait for more information before forming an opinion on, on that. But what I do know is I'm excited for some of those mounts and weapons, and I do like some designs of the new armor sets. So that's all kind of exciting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are excited for some of the future Cartel Market items. Let me know in the comment section which ones you guys are most looking forward to. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.